Hey, how's it going? This is Rama from Rama Time, and welcome to Satisfactory. This is episode nine. Wow! If you saw in episode eight, I completed this awesome building here, which is basically taking these three oil pipes and converting them into fuel with the absolute added bonus of this here additional rubber being made as well as all this lovely plastic. And today the plan is going to be to convert all of this fuel into power because my power system once again is struggling. Even though I built this beautiful additional power plant just over there, it's still not enough. So let's stop waffling and let's get on with building. So just to recap a little bit more, with the number of refineries that I actually have here, to make use of that, I need to build 33. <laughs> All right, I went to go and start building, but of course then I realized I haven't actually unlocked <laughs> the tier that gives me these fuel generators yet, but it does give me Mark IV conveyor belts, and that is making me very happy. <sighs> then I remembered again, I still need lots of computers for this. And while I would love to unlock this right now, I do not have enough computers yet. So, I have super, super quickly modified my temporary frame maker so that it makes computers. However, this is using an alternate recipe uh, that uses uh, quick wire and rubber rather than all the other nonsense that the, they normally use. So when it gets to my computer factory that I will build, I will likely use this recipe and all will be wonderful. Now, I just have to wait a short while while these get done for me. Just a few more to go. Well, it's definitely not the fastest setup, but... It will get me out of this hole just so that I can get on at least. I need more power. Right, let's do it. We now have enough. Woohoo! Okay, please. Yes, thank you. Good. Okay, and kaboosh! We can create coal generators, but they need five computers each. Oh my goodness me. Now, one of the things that I did figure out in between videos was the, um, the number of fuel generators that I needed for the number of refineries I have. And it came out at 33.4 or something like that. So I need 33 generators. Each one of those needs five computers. So I need to make 170 computers before I even start. Plus the frames. Oh man, this is gonna be so much work. But what I'll do is go and just start setting up, get a few of them up and running just so that I can expand the power and then maybe I can push the system a bit more to roll out more and sort of let it fund itself like that. Yeah, let's do that. I also, I've just added this very, very simple quality of life addition. I can now get up here by just walking up there rather than going all the way around. I don't know why I had it like that, but uh, whatever, that's good. So now I also, I need to run all the way back to the uh, refinery, which is quite a long way. I must also get around to installing the hyper tubes to get me around places quicker. And here we are up on the upper floor of my refinery. Now, my original plan was that I was going to have my fuel generators up here. But due to the fact that I need 33, I'm not sure of the best way to go about it. Now, I could go up. I could just go really, really high, which would definitely be interesting. But I might make it so that the building comes out and over this kind of creates a bridge. Yeah, I'm sure I can do something interesting with it. In case you're wondering what this is all about, by the way, this is the overflow system for downstairs. So down there, there is a smart splitter. And that is configured so that basically everything goes into that bin, unless that bin is full, in which case send it up this elevator and then into that sink. That way this system will not get backed up. And I also, I make a few points here and there. It's not a huge amount. But I've got 12 coupons sitting there, so it's not too bad. But I'm missing a sensible way to get up here, so I need to do that now. Right, well, it was a lot of concrete and a lot of messing around, but we now have what will be the power area. <laughs> so all in this area here will be fuel generators being fed from a couple of pipes that will come from underneath there. Like I say, I've got to make 33 but it's kind of cool. We've got this kind of bridge area here, so you, you can go under here, but it's all above. Yeah, it should definitely be quite interesting. Should look good. I've got to do some more tweaks to it, but now I need to lay some generators to go and work out how high this thing's actually going to be. 
That is eight fuel generators. So I can fit eight fuel generators in this area quite comfortably with some room either side for some additional bits. And I've got room over here where I will probably have just a single one because, or maybe two actually, I've got to remember. Basically, if I can fit eight per floor, I just need four floors of eight. That will give me my 32. And then if I have two down here, then that's 34, meaning that I've got more generators than I've, I've got fuel for, meaning that the system will not back up and everything will be used. And the benefit of that is 150 megawatts. This will give me nearly 5,000 megawatts just from this one little system alone. So add that to the 2,000 I've already got, that will be 7,000 megawatts. That's definitely enough for at least another episode. <laughs> I also need to make a ton of computers, circuit boards, and heavy modular frames in order to build it. But then once this is done, I can leave it and I can go and concentrate on building specific buildings for heavy frames, computers, and circuit boards. Then I will be able to unlock the trains and start having everything coming back to a centralized location. And then, yeah, we're on to the next whatever we're doing. Oh, it's all so exciting! That is where we are right now. Now let's get building. Well, I have now piped in the whole of the first floor. I wanted to kind of check how I was going to do it for the rest. And I've gone for this design. So similar to the refineries, I have it all going into the floor. And I like the fact that this is now visible on the glass and we can see the water below it as well. And it's, yeah, it's quite an interesting look. I think it's pretty cool. But basically the fuel is being pumped into here and it will go into these. Because I need to split it across two pipes, I have an additional outlet there, which will come all the way up to the third floor. Now the downside is pumping liquids upwards is a pain, which is why generally you have these types of things all on one level. But I kind of, I like the challenge of this, uh, yeah. I think I will add a pump onto that one just to give it a bit of extra oomph, and this one will have several pumps per floor. But it's looking cool, it's looking good. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like once it's fully grown. Oh, anyway, let's get on. Lots to do. So, it was looking like this, and now, it's looking like this. And I may have gone a little overboard. Yeah, I kind of just ended up doing the entire lot and then putting it inside of a building. And you may have noticed there was no sound in the first 10 minutes of this video, and that was because OBS decided not to record it. No idea why, couldn't tell you. Hopefully that's now fixed, but it's caused me a mammoth headache with the editing, which is why I'm now late with this video and I'm not going to start ranting, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> but check that out. That is my 33 fuel generator tower. Inside is a masterpiece of design. It's, a, it's actually fairly straightforward. As you saw it before, it's got all of these, but that goes up every single floor I like it a lot and there are walkways for every single floor so we can go up here and then this is the next floor I quite like the way it's got this green tinge to it if we run across through here we'll find another door okay so someone has nicked the door I don't know why I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be there yes <laughs> I don't know how I missed that at least stick a door in. There we go. And then you can go up the next lot. Get a lovely view of the passing areas. And basically, yeah, it's the same thing. So it's all the kind of same thing, but all of these guys are now running. And as you can see, we have a rock solid 6,300 megawatts. Now, I was really, really pleased with that up until I saw a recent video online. Cheers, kids. But we can head out here and see the awesome view across our city. I do need to do something about this. I might actually send this round rather than across everything because it's a bit annoying. It looks a little bit odd. But yeah, we're pretty high up here, up on the top floor. And it's more of the same, to be fair. But it's all full. Oh, okay, no, wait, wait, wait. There is a problem with upstairs. Okay. Okay, minor technical problem I've just discovered. These guys aren't actually connected to these guys. So we can fix this quite easily. Let's just... Uh... Oh, um... 
Bloomin' auto saves. Let's just fix this real quick. Right, now these are connected. So we're now up to the 690. And I'm still wondering if that's actually even full yet because I was I calculated about 750 or so, but maybe maybe something's not connected. I will go through and have a look. But for now, look at that view. This is a cool building. I'm really pleased with this building. It was a little bit of effort to put together, but I think it was well worth it. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. So that's my power sorted out for a little while. I now need to figure out exactly what it is I'm going to do next. Because to be honest, I hadn't planned much past this because this was such a monster task. But I do love how cool that actually looks when you look up at that big building. I mean, this whole area looks pretty nifty as part of my kind of interactive city. Yeah, I think this is great. But there's one thing I forgot to show you, actually. Over here, I built this is the new storage area for our plastic and rubber as well as fuel. So I've got a ton of packaged fuel being delivered here as well, which I'll be able to use when I unlock the exosuit or the jetpack or if I start using the, the trucks instead of tractors. Um, so I've got plenty of backup there uh, with the idea that I can put a train station in over here at a later date so I can collect it up. But this all gets fed through here. It comes through these smart splitters, which are all configured so that it lets anything through the center straight through, and then anything to the sides gets overflowed. So if these are full, it comes up the top here and goes into this awesome sink. So I get some points and the system doesn't back up. And I did a little bit of jiggery pokery just to make that kind of look a little bit nifty and smart, because I really like the way conveyors stack like that. I think it looks nice as you're running through. So just to show you what I've got going on over here now. I made this extra constructor over here which takes a feed of the plastic just to create these empty canisters. The empty canisters then come over here and go into this refinery which is basically just making packaged fuel. So it's kind of using the leftovers that the power generator isn't using. I might need to expand that just to ensure that I'm definitely using all of the fuel that I'm generating. But either way, that is doing the job for now really nicely. And everything is getting all delivered over to here, ready for when I want to start transporting it. So all in all, this area is pretty cool. And it's fairly well self-contained, will do its job, and I can now leave it alone, really. With the exception of fixing this. Yeah, I definitely want to fix this. I'll probably do this before the next video. But yeah, this will be a slightly shorter video than normal, I reckon, because that's about it. We've, we've done it. Um, due to the technical problems, I didn't get to record a lot of the build of that factory, so I'm sorry about that. And I, uh, I hope that this was still fun. I'm really enjoying this build. Next time, I've got some quite exciting things to do because I'm going to build a factory, I think, because I think we're going to start looking at a specific factory for heavy modular frames as well as a specific factory for computers. And I'm going to start sort of planning those out now that we have the plastic and the other bits. And also, we will start the next episode by unlocking a ton of stuff. So we'll get the gas masks unlocked, we'll get the jetpack unlocked, we'll get the exosuit unlocked. And then we will get this bad boy trains unlocked. So we can start looking at building our train station. Oh, I'm so excited. Once I have this train station, that is when we're going to move to the new location for the base. And that's going to get really exciting. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And make sure you press the little bell. That way you'll be notified when the new videos go up. And for now, I will just say... Bye!